This is the old Remington Arms factory where my mother worked as a safety inspector. They shut it down in 1970. John Ratzenberger was made in America, not just any America, but an America that set its clocks to the factory whistle. When I was growing up here, Bridgeport was the jewel in the crown of the industrial Northeast. Back then, Bridgeport, well, like most of America, was a town that actually made things. You couldn't walk down the street without hearing the hum of an honest day's work. This was a place where people had two families, the one they came home to at night and the one they went to work for in the morning. This was a place where skills were passed down from generation to generation, and workers could expect that their factory jobs would provide a good life for their families. We were a country of doers and builders. People used their hands to produce real goods, and they did it with pride. After all, we Americans were the greatest inventors and manufacturers on Earth. I grew up in this house. My dad was a truck driver by vocation, and like everybody else, he was a tinkerer. And if he didn't know how to fix something, well, he knew a neighbor who did. You didn't have to be a millionaire to be happy here. We had something better, a sense of community and a sense of pride that comes from, well, building something useful. This was a place where everyone could earn a little piece of the American dream. But John Ratzenberger had his own dream. After working on everything from oyster boats to house framing, he pursued his passion to the other side of the Atlantic. There, the values he brought from small town America served him well. Hard work, good humor, honesty, perseverance. It was these qualities that would go on to make him one of America's most beloved entertainers. Hello, everybody. Freezer right there. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present Mantle the Magnificent. Just stop it off for a quick breather, kid. You can take John Ratzenberger out of Bridgeport, but you can't take Bridgeport out of John Ratzenberger. After a career as a movie and television star, John has returned to his roots to lead a new kind of mission, to showcase the hard work of everyday American workers who are the heart and soul and pride of America. My show, John Ratzenberger's Made in America, is a true labor of love. I believe in American manufacturing. I mean, what the heck? I'm a product of it. That's why it troubles me to see more and more American manufacturing jobs go beyond our shores. When you look around, you'll see that it's not just decent paychecks we're losing. It's an entire ethos and way of life based on civic pride, work ethic, and community involvement. John believes the exodus of jobs to countries like China is destroying not just individual families, but whole communities and an American way of life. So John Ratzenberger decided to do something about it. He decided to celebrate those people, the people who still make things in America with skill and pride and craftsmanship. These are the new American heroes, the most innovative and skilled workers in the entire world. They are our link to the past, the backbone of our very economy, and our hope for the future. These workers give the people of America, especially young people, a role model to make sure that we keep our jobs and manufacturing heritage alive. We must bring our jobs home and restore the rightful place of the American manufacturing worker as the heart and soul of our economy. If America is to remain the leader of the global economy, we have to maintain our position as the manufacturing leader of the world. Everywhere I go across America, people understand this. We have to make our political candidates understand it too. We can't afford not to. This election year, we finally have a chance to have the voices of American manufacturing heard. We have a chance to have Washington sit up and take notice, to strengthen and enforce the trade laws that are so vital to the future of our manufacturing success. We can, once again, have Made in America really mean something.